So you want to be able to walk on water like a death knight or shaman? Regardless of which class you play, you too can unlock the ability in about 20 minutes worth of work. You'll just have to complete a handful of very easy quests and then knock out a simple achievement, and the Tuscar dinghy toy will be yours. This toy will make it so that a small boat appears under your feet every time you walk into water. This will give you the ability to perform tasks like fishing, which you can't currently do while swimming in or flying above water. If you haven't participated in the joys of fishing in Dragonflight, you should seriously consider giving it a try, as it's an excellent way to make extra gold, or to collect some unique toys and recipes. It's also a skill that complements the cooking profession really well. We're headed out to the Azure Span to talk to Rurik. You'll find him located here on the map. Grab both quests and head up the path to complete them. You'll see that some of the dead animals are lootable, which you'll be collecting hides and tusks from. You'll also be killing vicious ice borers and vicious ice slitherers. The eight or so quests you'll be completing will provide Tusker Rep, which is perfect if you're looking to unlock additional abilities related to the fishing profession. Once the quests are complete, head over to Rurik's new location and turn them in. You'll want to grab the next quest, which will have you help him finish working on his boat. Some of those Rep-related fishing perks include nets, which you can place in various areas to automatically catch fish for you while you're not even playing the game. Once you're done reinforcing his boat, turn in the quest and grab the next quest, which will require that you gather three glean fish, which you'll find in the nets around camp. A stranger here? Who might you be? Our paths shall cross again. Now drop the fish into the offering basket and wait for the NPCs to stop conversing. Once they're done, you'll be able to grab two more quests. Oh, such an unusual visitor. Farewell then, friend. Be careful out there. You'll want to head across the lake where you'll be thawing the frozen water elementals and collecting restless motes from the air elementals. Once complete, Head back to camp to turn in the quests and grab the next one. A stranger here? Now I have a story to tell. May your steps be sure and your The next quest will have you head over to this nearby cave, which is located under a waterfall. Rough up the NPC and then fly back to camp to grab the final quest. Well now, you're certainly a surprise. I await your return with This final quest will have you use two net types to collect ten fish. To receive the Tuscar dinghy toy, you'll need to collect 40 fish in a single run, so be sure to keep throwing the net at every opportunity. A tip that will help is to turn around and net some of the fishing spots you've already collected, as the fish icons respawn pretty quickly.
I purposely fail this first run so that I can show you how to run this as many times necessary to catch the 40 fish and receive not only the toy, but the River Rapids Wrangler achievement. If you fail to accomplish the achievement, just talk to the NPC and request that he send you back to Korik Gleamlet. Story. Make sure you request to take the River Rapids ride and not the leisurely one, as that first option will not give you the opportunity to net fish. You can see that I received the toy this time, because I completed the 40 fish achievement. Here are some added things worth mentioning about the toy. The toy will last for 10 minutes, but it has no cooldown, so you'll be able to use it as often as you wish. You can also use all of your speed increase abilities in the boat to speed it along. If you take damage, the toy buff you receive will disappear. Thanks for watching this video, and good luck getting your Tuscar dinghy. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section. Have a great day.